Khan? Hi, yeah, it's uh, Rob Kwan. I'd like to speak on items 24, 42, and general public comment. Yes, so you have two minutes for the items, followed by one minute for general public comment. Please begin. Uh, thank you. Um, for item 24, um, obviously, I want to echo all the previous sentiments on 4118. Uh, it's just kind of baffling given we're in the middle of the pandemic, we're in the middle of you know, uh, flu season <laughs> and winter is coming. So, uh, you know, it's absolutely the worst time to be doing this. Um, and it's just insane that, that this is viewed as a, a solution. Um, you know, Joe, Joe can get some, some sweeps, but is that actually going to do anything to get anybody housed? Um, it's going to actually make things a hell of a lot worse. So I, I think the other question with this item is what the fuck happened last month? <laughs> uh, Adrian Riskin posted uh, a number of emails obtained through PRA requests. And, you know, we see uh, Anna Osapian emailing Erica Pulse from the clerk's office with a clear plan for a special meeting on Wednesday, the 28th of last month. Uh, and their ordinance would be available early in the morning on Monday at the latest. Uh, but we didn't get those till Tuesday. Um, we also saw Buscaino's office asking O'Farrell's office to waive it from committee a week prior to that vote, which is just kind of baffling because uh, Councilmember Blumenfield, who was the mover of the motion, had no idea why the draconian ordinance came back even more draconian. Uh, but the committee chair wasn't even given, you know, that ordinance or the heads up that that ordinance was coming. So it's just really baffling that our, our council president would go out of the way to ice out a couple of members, leave them high and dry, and just have a whole shit show evolve. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just really <laughs> insane. And I, I don't know why it's not more transparent to this horseshoe, more virtual horseshoe, that our council president is up to it. And another textbook example of that is item 42, local emergency. When was the last time we did that? We declared a local emergency on September 22nd. The charter provides that you're supposed to do that at a minimum every 30 days. Um, it's supposed to be every 10 regular county meeting days, but no longer than 30 days spaced out. So you violated the charter twofold. Um, I, I also want to wonder where a council president's mask is, given the rise of COVID. Um, you know, it sets a terrible example, and you've got poor Alexis and Anna in front of you. I saw you literally coughing at the last meeting. Uh, they've got family. So, you know, they might be your employees, but they got family. Um, this council is going to be choosing a new mayor potentially soon. You've got redistricting, which is already off to a horrible start with our council president's leadership. You've got a financial crisis, pandemic. Do any of you have any faith in what we're doing? in this process, you shouldn't. And you have an opportunity coming up to rectify that, and I hope you do. I yield my time. Thank you, Mr. Kwan.